Hey guys, it's Paul from Online Tax Academy and in today's lesson we've got a Keeping the Groove workout. So the idea behind today's lesson is you're going to learn to play like a typical funk riff and your job is to play it as steady and as in the pocket as possible. Now as you're playing this riff, the drums are going to mute gradually more and more. First of all, the last half measure of the four measure phrase will be muted, then a whole measure and then a whole one and a half measures will be muted. And when the drums drop out, your job is to keep really steady, don't speed up, don't slow down, and see if you can land right back in time as the drums join back in. We've got three versions of the same riff for beginners, intermediates, and advanced level players. First of all, there's gonna be a demonstration where I'll play this riff as the drums are dropping out, and you can choose to play along with me. And then we'll play the track again, but this time I've muted the saxophone as well during those muted sections to leave you by yourself. Now, if you'd like to get the free PDF of the beginner version that accompanies today's lesson, then you can head to onlinesaxacademy.com and the link to that is in the description below. All right, so here's the demonstration of the beginner workout. Okay, so next up it's that beginner workout but with the muted saxophone part as well. So see if you can play that all by yourself. Okay, so for the intermediate version, I've basically made this riff a bit more intricate, added in a few more 16th notes, but the idea is exactly the same and we're gonna be muting in just the same way. Okay, we'll start with that demonstration version first of all, and you can join in with me if you want. Now over in the premium library at Online Tax Academy, you can get the PDFs for the intermediate and advanced versions, along with the performance tracks, the muted saxophone performance, and there's also a version as well where it's just the drums and there's no saxophone at all. So you can try doing this completely all by yourself. Okay, so now it's time for the intermediate muted version where the saxophone's also muted as well.
Okay, so for the advanced version, in the fourth measure, each time we get round to it, I was improvising a different ending to the phrase. And this can be a nice way to make your riff more interesting, so that each time there's something a little different that you're adding in. Now I was using the concert A minor blues scale, which is the F sharp minor blues scale for alto sax, and the B minor blues scale for tenor sax. And again, you can get this full transcription of everything I'm playing in this version in the premium library. Okay, so here's the demonstration with me giving some example phrases in that fourth measure each time. Okay, so now it's time for the advanced version with the muted sax. Now what I've done here in the sax part is muted that whole last measure each time, leaving you free to improvise your own fills in that section. As ever though, the goal is to try and land back straight on beat one in the correct place without speeding up or slowing down. Okay, so let's give that a try. Over at Online Sax Academy on the courses page, you'll see I'm starting to build out a how to improvise course, which is gonna be a complete step-by-step -step guide from zero knowledge right up to advanced on how to improvise. And premium members will have access to all the lessons in this course, along with the lessons in the other courses as well, and of course, everything that's in the premium library. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on future lessons, and I'll see you next week.